All right, everyone. Um, so there's a couple things that are happening right now. As you can see, the water wheel isn't up, neither is the flume, um, and the water wheel is also missing, missing a shaft. Um, so the reason for all this is two things. Number one, this system, this transmission system, I'm ditching it. It's, it's just not good. It's very inefficient. Um, it's a pain in the ass because I got to cover it. Um, cause if it gets rained on, you know, it's going to get all rusted. Same with the motor. Um, I built this enclosure for it and I have this whole thing covered with the tarp and I just hate it because when you're coming here from the road, all you see is this massive structure in the way and you can't see the water wheel. You, you can see like the top half of it, but that's about it. And you got to be like over there to be able to see it. So I don't like that. Um, so this is all going, this is going, that's going, that motor's going. Um, I'm having issues with that motor. I might even have to use a different one to generate. Um, who knows? Uh, I'm going to have to get some clarification because I don't know anything about motors. All right, so now what I'm going to do is stake out the area for the chicken coop and we'll start digging. Alright, um, so everything's back up and running. We have the flume with that coat of paint, um, or urethane, and here's the water wheel. This, we didn't even have to do any welding. Um, this screws onto here, which screws onto there, which screws onto there, and that goes into there. And now we have this, and I gotta line this inside with electrical tape, and I'm gonna paint it, uh, paint it black. Now these brackets, um, right here, this will give it a lot more support, and they're just screwed in. Same on the other side. So, that's nice. And this is just here for right now, but I'm going to have to stop the water wheel, and we're going to get to work right there. All right.
right so I built the wall for this front of the foundation to sit on and the next step is we need to set this 4x4 post up into the ground on top of crushed stone just like I did over here and I gotta make sure it's level and I gotta make sure it's the correct height from here to here so that they're level so that the base that's all the way over there can sit on top of here and fit um, so I need to dig into here and we need to stone it all, put some rocks, stuff like that, and make it work. All right. Alright, so we got the base where it needs to be, but there's a couple adjustments. On this end, this needs to be moved back so that this is flush down there. I'm gonna move that back. And then back here on this corner, you can see ah, over in there, there's an angle. We can't have that, that means it's not level. So essentially, this area, and it's perfectly flush right there, so that's perfect. So this area just needs to be lifted up about, about that much. Um, so basically I need to come in here with like about a wheelbarrow full of fill and get that taken care of. So, all right. Alright, so it's all balanced out now, everything's level. Um, the only thing that's left to do is underneath here, we need another beam going across like that. Um, so I'm, pr I'm probably going to put that one in off camera uh, because I won't get to it today and I want to finish this episode up soon. So we're going to have to shift gears um, to over here. So the water wheel now... Um, it has this on it, and what we need to do is this is going to be a belt, and I've actually built a little assembly for it, and we got to mount the assembly, get the belts up, get the, uh, the motor we're using, it's a new motor, it's a uh, three phase, so hopefully everything on it will work well, but uh, we'll see, so, alright. <laughs> 